plunging into the Lerdoke State Forest, you would know that you're only an hour away from Melbourne. Wildflowers, flowing streams, and lots of campsites to pick from. It's perfect for a quick couple of nights away to get that nature fix. We pulled into Ambler Lane Campground to check it out. It has massive, well looked after sites with fire pits that overlook the creek. It's an awesome spot, but we decided to push on to a more secluded site that I know of. It's best to chuck it in low range from here as the track begins to steepen as it climbs the ridge. Only a couple of k's up, you'll find the turn off for the next site. Back into this site is super steep. I got some better footage of it on the way out the next morning. There is one side at the bottom and it's surrounded by an amphitheatre-like ridge footed by a small creek. After some brekkie, we crawled out of the site and set off to go explore some tracks. Don't let the camera angle fool you, this is a properly steep section of track. Swung past O'Brien's Crossing on route, there is a hub here with a bunch of hikes that we're keen to check out in the future. From there we continued on to find Digger's Track. This track is pretty manageable except for one section that is littered with big bog holes. Bog holes aren't usually my thing, but here you don't really have the option, so I thought I might as well take a punt. This whale was not getting up there anytime soon. I'm not sure who's getting through this stuff because it is seriously slick, but props to you. Now that I've got clay firmly packed into every square inch of the patrol, it's time to take the chicken track. Continuing on to explore the area, we headed out along Blue Gum and West number five track. As we wound through, we got epic views east, out over the plains, and then caught the sunset over the Lerdeberg Gorge in the west. What a spot. We called it a night at one of the free camp clearings along Blue Gum Track.
waking up to some perfect weather, we were even more keen to strap on the hiking boots and get amongst it. we're tackling is the Lerdeder Gorge circuit, which is considered a hard 8.5 km loop. It starts with a leisurely flat walk through the gorge, dotted with awesome stepping stone river crossings. track points you just about directly up the side of the gorge with a long, steep, rocky ascent. We used lunch as an excuse for a breather halfway up and soaked in a great view looking down the gorge. The perspective only kept getting better as you climbed closer to the top of the ridge. There's a small section of fire road along the top before you drop back down the super steep track and into the gorge again. Thankfully you get a break towards the end of the hike with some beautiful scenery while you traverse the flat section of track through the gorge. This has to have been one of my favourite hikes we've done recently. Just a great mix of terrain and sights. It goes to show that you don't have to travel to the end of the earth to find something that inspires you. That's a wrap for another video. Cheers for tuning in guys. I've got map links to everything we did in the description below. Catch you in the next one.